Folks filing into Fenway Park here in Boston on a fine Thursday evening for baseball. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Detroit Tigers and the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox look to extend their historic winning streak to 18 right after this. Let's play ball. Striding forward now is the DH, Elias Adams. He'll get to take his Elias. first cuts here. Adam. The one two. Runner goes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Waiting on it, the right fielder, two gone. Digging in now, number two. He drove that in one third. of his team's two no runs right in yesterday's game. Number two. First pitch on its way. Down the first baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Uh, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. You see a guy taking swings like this. I think as a pitcher right here, you got to expand the zone even more. Fouled off. The 0 2 once more. Pulled toward right center field. Oh, and he misses it. Around second. He's on his way to third. Throw won't get him. So that's his third triple of the year. Yeah, that's not a ton, Matt, but he looked very capable there of picking up some more as the season goes on. Now at the plate, Carlos Batting Fernandez. Four. He was not That's much of a factor at the plate during Carlos. yesterday's win as he Burn took an 0 day. for 4 line. The 0 2. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. You can kiss it goodbye. It's a two run shot to straight away left home run number three here in the early going and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Wow that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear view mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result a reason to be even more mad. So striding in, Richard Punk, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Richard Punk. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Under it is the right fielder. And he makes the catch for the second out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number two. He Double scored two. after tripling in his first plate appearance. What's he got in store for us here? Yeah, guys, that was the first triple of the year for him, and you got to believe it's not going to be his last. The way this guy can absolutely fly any ball in the gap screams triple. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Zero. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side, so out of the box, he's going to get a good break. You might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. Way outside. One and two. 
The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Gomez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Leading off the inning, Elias Adams, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this Adam. one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Number two is there, and he'll bring this one in. Four-hole hitter Joel Gomez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Right fielder has a beat on it. Two gone. Leading off the inning, Richard Punk. And they'll need him to get something going here. Richard Punk. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. At the plate, number two. He now tripled batting. earlier, making him number one for two. two in the ball game. First offering on its way. Now a chopper go to second. Hard, this will be hard. a tough turn. One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has, and he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. The so they should the be happy they at least got the guy out at second. Low. It'll be interesting first, now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. Now the 2-1. Runner goes for second. A bounce to the left up, side. He's got it. Throw in oh. time, and the side is retired. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Red Sox three and the Tigers one. Next up for Detroit, Elias Adams. He flew out in his last at bat. Oh, yeah. Adam. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it, the right fielder. Two gone. Ready once again. Number two. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Here's the first pitch to him. Line on, drive to center field. To and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. The Red Sox are out in front, three to one. Stepping in, Chris Glass. And Dan Heen, his fellow top of the order hitters, haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, what? your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action, and they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Number two is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Getting late. Eighth inning now from Fenway with the Red Sox on top as you get a look at our game's line score to this point. Another 
game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Boston jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Felix Carrasco with his fourth win this season. Robbie Nash earns the save out of the bullpen, his 11th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.